Hello everyone, so back with another NFL video. In this video, I'll be giving my NFL um, Week 1 recap of the uh, Week 1 games. So, so let's get into it. Thursday night, Bills Rams. This game happened like a long time ago, it feels like already. Let's run through it. 10-10 at the end of the first half, and then the Bills dominated in the second half. Look, um, the Bills offense did look unstoppable, even if they had their mistakes. I don't care what anyone says. James Conner fumbled on his first NFL carry, you know, whatever. He didn't come back the rest of the game. He'll learn from his mistakes. Allen still dominated, even if he had two turnovers. Stephon Diggs looked really good. Dawson Knox looked under look underwhelming, but you know, Gabriel Davis did his thing. The Bills dominated on offense. On defense, they did. They all they also did. Cooper Cup, you know, got his great plays. Besides that, no one else really did anything. Stafford bad game. Allen Robinson not in this, not effective in this game. Cam Akers not effective in this game. Um, the Bills Bills uh, the pass rush got over got all over the Rams. Von Miller, I believe, two sacks. Um, Aaron Donald also has 99th career sack, but besides that, I think the Bills did a good job keeping up with the Rams' offensive line. So yeah, Bills won. Rams' season is not over, of course. They're still going to come back. They're probably going to destroy the Falcons. Um, but the Bills look really good. Um, I, it's not, I don't think it's an overreaction to say that they're really good. They're not one to know. They're really good. The Rams, I, I, it would be an overreaction to say that they're bad or having a season uh, Super Bowl hangover. Next, the 49ers and the Bears. Okay, now, ladies and gentlemen, the Bears did beat the 49ers. Um, the weather looked really bad before this game, honestly, and probably was really bad at the end of the game, but po both teams were still able to pass the ball more times than I thought they would with the weather. Now, now um, in the 49ers defense, Kittle did not play. Elijah Mitchell left the game, and I believe the second quarter was six rushes and 41 yards. Um, and then, you know, the 49ers, just, they lost. It, it went the opposite as what I thought. What happened really was the 49ers were up by a little bit, right for most of the game right the the bears offense was not doing anything and the 49ers offense was doing you know wh whatever right what i thought was going to happen was like the bears were going to do nothing on offense uh, which happened for the start of the game the 49ers would um pretty much have similar production to what they did in the first half but then i thought they would break away in the second half instead they scored zero points so the bears defense actually held up all game and the bears offense did improve in the second half however they, they still won this game because of the bears defense let's be clear um 49ers choked. Trey Lance was not good. Well, they didn't choke because, like, you know, it was 10 0 with like half the game left. I'm saying they choked because they played a bad team. Um, yeah, Bears, they're still going to be really bad. I don't care. 49ers will still be good. It's just a week one upset. Um, craziness, crazy week one stuff. People did not play good either. I don't care what anyone says. Um, Bears won. I'll acknowledge it. They're still getting destroyed by the Packers, but I will, I will acknowledge their win. 49ers, I would laugh at you, but my team also lost. Um, because I hate the 49ers and I, th I thought it was hilarious that they lost. Steelers Bengals. I was watching pretty much most of this game until like the until like the second drive of overtime and watched like the whole game. Um, both whoever, no matter if this game tied, then you know tied. It, but with the Steelers winning, no matter who won this game, it would have been the same reason. Their, their offense bad, their defense bailed them out, and you know missed kicks. McPherson missed the kick. It's like the Bengals offense is already so bad, and their defense gave them opportunities. You know. Trubisky didn't look good. He looked exactly like he's gonna look for as long as he starts. The Steelers' offense looked the same. Najee Harris didn't play that well. The offensive weapons for the Steelers, as far as I know, didn't really do amazing either. Don the offense Jonathan had like a great catch. Um, they still threw underneath a lot. Um, Frymouth had a great catch on their final overtime drive. Maybe it was their second to last drive. But yeah, Burrow threw a lot of interceptions. Man, the Steelers' defense. I have to like. I mean, I said that they're a good defense, but. I said their secondary is not very good, and I have to apologize for that. They looked really good out there. T.J. Watt, some good injury news came out today that he might only be out until the end of October. You know, he got a second opinion on his uh, torn, uh, potentially torn pec. Um, the Steelers look really good, though, um, on defense. I mean, pass rush. The bang the bit not only did the Bengals passing offense look bad, the Bengals' offensive line looked terrible. Sure, I mean, it will, in their defense, it is their first game playing together. There's a lot of new guys, you know, I think of chemistry, Alex Kappa, Leal Collins, Ted Karras, uh, Cardo Volson, the rookie, but they still got dominated. Um, um, and then on the other side of the ball, the Bengals offense held up enough. They didn't get any turnovers, but forced punts um, and Pittsburgh. And, they dr and Beng the Bengals had a crazy, you know, drive to tie the game. The Steelers gave up some penalties on that drive that shouldn't have happened. And then, uh, and then the game and then missed the extra point, or I mean, t blocked. That was crazy. And then game went to overtime. You know, we, you already know what happened. I'm not going to explain the whole game to you. More of explaining what I thought about the game. And I thought that Pittsburgh might be better than I thought. The Bengals, I think, will still be good. But if I mean, if the Steelers really have an elite defense, that'll take, that can already take them to eight or nine wins. If their offense improves, AK starting Pickett over Trubisky, 
AK Najee Harris playing better. Um, their offensive line won't get better this season. They're just not good. Um, although, although I think they did, I think they did fairly well holding up in this game. Regardless, Cedars, good game to you. Eagles versus the Lions game. Now, I, I mean, the Lions did a lot better in this game against the Eagles than they did last season. The Lions, look, the Eagles got off to a huge lead. The Lions almost did what they did last year in week one. Well, they did. They got a comeback and they did not complete it. Um, the e Lions defense, I mean, their offense made a lot of additions, but their defense is not good besides the addition of Ian Hutchinson, really. Um, they had some other guy, uh, good guys, but they're not going to really be good this season. They got burnt the whole game. Major Brown looked really good. Jalen Hurts, I guess, is getting him some slander, but he looked good. Miles Sanders actually looked good. The, um, and then the, on the other side of the ball, um, the Eagles defense got exposed. The run defense got completely exposed. DeAndre Swift looked really good. I'm not sure what happened with their other weapons. You know, a lot, I was, I, I should have mentioned this at the start, but a lot of these games I obviously didn't watch. Some of them I watched the highlights for. Some of them I saw some highlights for. Some of them I read the box score. But, you know, some, these games are going off of what I know about what happened, you know. Um, for, from what, I don't know really what happened with on the, on the, for the Lions offensive weapons. I know St. Brown had a touchdown. Um, DJ Shark at least did something I saw. Um, but, yeah, Lions, the same thing from last year. They have grit. They cannot finish games yet. They can compete, but they can finish the game. Eagles, improve your defense. But besides that, um, the Eagles still, the, I mean, the Eagles offense look convincing. That's for sure. Their defense, the opposite, however. But um, if their defense improves, I mean, this could be like, this could be a 12, 11 win team. Lions, I don't think it'll be good this year, but sure promise. Again, I mean, the same promise they showed last year. They just couldn't finish the game. But it's still an Eagles, the good, good Eagles team. It was a good fight by the Lions. Patriots offense. The Patriots offense is terrible. Absolutely terrible. The offense defense, I wouldn't get too excited about it yet. They played well, but I would, I would not get too excited about it yet. On the other side of the ball, Tyreek Hill got caught a lot of checkdowns. Waddle had a big touchdown. Hill had a lot of production, but you know, just not, I mean, like a not Kansas City type production, you know, not the deep balls really. You know, he snagged the almost interception off the hands of a defender. But anyway, Dolphins, pretty easy win from what I can tell. They didn't have to do much. Um, their offense had to score enough, which was not that hard. The Patriots only had seven points. Patriots, I would be literally worried. They're not. I'm not saying they're a ter terrible team, but I would be worried about their future, how it's looking. You know, they need to have a whole new coaching staff next year, besides Bill Belichick. And even then, Bill Belichick's gonna retire someday. And Max Jones is good. It's pretty good, but their defense and offense, I don't see much firepower really there at all. Um, Dolphins, convincing, but still have to prove more. Um, you know, with new head coach Mike McDaniel. The Browns and Panthers. Now, this game, I don't really know much about. You know, the who played well, what happened. Jacoby Brissett looked pretty boring from what I can tell. Um, he, did, he did drive them down the field to win the game. It, I thought, I mean, the Bills, I mean, the Browns, sorry, had the lead for most of the game. The Panthers closed it to, I think they took the lead actually, and then the Browns took it back with the field goal. Um, Baker did not look that good after saying he would mess up the Browns. Um, and then he, and then CMC, I'm not sure how he played out in this game. At first, he was not getting much production from what I saw, like much touches. Uh, DJ Moore, Bobby Anderson, still a good receiving duo. Um, and the Panthers defense and Browns offense and Browns defense. I mean, this is this is like almost a shootout type game. Just not the most spectacular shootout, but both offenses had a good game. Nick Chubb went absolutely off. No, I don't know why. I'm mean, barely hearing anyone talking about Nick Chubb. He went absolutely off in this game. Panthers defense not a good showing. Browns good showing. I had the Panthers winning. The Browns look good. I will say. Browns are now one to zero. Maybe they could be better than I thought. Maybe they can hold up enough until Watson comes back for the Panthers though. Um, they they need to rebound pretty quickly if they if they want to prove that they're, they're, that that they're actually an improved team from last year. Colts and the Texans. Oh my goodness, Texans! I mean the Colts. I mean both teams. I mean Texans blew a lead. Colts shouldn't have even tied to the Texans. The biggest storyline probably well not probably but re re probably wasn't but Blankenship got cut after this game. The Colts kicker got waved. I thought he was actually pretty good. I know he missed the kick, but besides that, I thought I thought he was actually a good kicker and he had like you know one bad game. He was waved. They signed two kickers to the practice squad. I don't know who any of them are. I just heard, heard that they signed two guys to the practice squad. Matt Ryan. I mean, from what I can tell, the pan, the Colts actually look good in the running ball. I mean, Taylor Stallion ending the game was crazy. Michael Pittman had a nice game. Matt Ryan's stats didn't look bad either, but apparently they had like not, they had barely did anything in the first half. Second half, correct me if I'm wrong, but Texans did not even score any points. Although Davis Mills looked good, OJ Howard in his first game as a Texan looked pretty good. I'm just, sorry, yeah, his first game as a Texan looked pretty good. Um, it was a tie. Texans will still be bad, you know, they, they played a good game, just could not finish it out. Um, you know, it's a, it's a Texans, you know, if they play well, it's probably the best that's going to happen. Tie games, to, you know, pretty good team. So it's like, you know, I understand they tied Bully, but like, it's a Texans. This is the best they're going to do, really. The Colts, what is wrong with you? The Saints and the Falcons, okay. 
uh, I feel bad for the Falcons. They blew a lead. They started off really strong, actually. Their offense is good. Marcus Mariota, um, Carl Patterson, good running the ball. Drake London had some nice plays, um, and then they choked the game. Now, Michael Thomas is back, and he's, and he, and he's really back. 20, 2019 and before form. Jarvis Landry, Chris Olave, Jamin Winston. His yards per completion really early on in the game was not impressive, but however, he finished the game pretty... Um, off the game, he finished off the game pretty strong. Great throw to Jarvis Landry over Casey Hayward to get them into range. Jason Hill also had some nice rushes in there. Um, Falcons, you played better than I thought you would, but you should have ended up winning this game. The Saints, um, you know, you know, they 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 got they got to come back. You know, we'll, we'll say good for you, but um, shouldn't shouldn't have been down that 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 much to the Falcons in the game, even if it was you know not, even if even if the game wasn't over, you should not have been down that, by that much. They closed it down. I'll say congrats, but your defense should have looked better. And I, I'll give props to your offense. For the Falcons, you just choked your game. Now, is all I'm gonna say. The offense should have done more in the second half, probably the fourth quarter specifically. Ravens Jets. Joe Flacco is not very good. He's out of his prime. Lamar, it's good. Um, Devin Duvernay is better than I thought. Rashad Damon had a big play. Dobbins missed the game, unfortunately, with an injury. Ravens uh, defense looked good. Um, Mark Williams did a pick. The Jets, um, as I mentioned, not much in their offense. Defense didn't, defense holding up in the first half. DJ Reed had a pick late in the game. Besides that, this talented Jets team, I know they're playing the Ravens. I feel like we could have seen more from them instead of losing 24-9. to and I thought they would lose pretty convincingly, but I thought they would show more more of their talent, knew their new more of their new acquired talent. They did not. You know, the Lions look better, the Texans look better, the Giants look better, the Jaguars look better. The Jets did not, even though I think they had um, really good off seasons, like similar to those other you know teams that were bad last year, but had good off seasons. Jaguars and the Commanders. Uh, so basically, the Commanders took a lead, the Jags took it back, the Commanders took it back. Trevor Lawrence a game ending interception. Jaguars offense could look, looked pretty. I mean, Trevor Lawrence wasn't that good, but I look. I love how they spread the ball. Out. Zay Jones, Christian Kirk, Evan Ingram, Marvin Jones, good stuff. Um, James Robinson got a lot more touches and opportunities than Travis Etienne, which I like saying. I think James Robinson is still good, um, and he had a good game. Etienne didn't do much, and then uh, their defense. Trayvon Walker looked really good. Foy City, Lou Kuhn looked really good. Um, their, some of their new defensive additions did good. They, you know, got a. Uh, Two, two uh, interceptions off Wentz. Wentz still had a good game. Great throw to McLaurin. McLaurin only, two ca two, only had two catches, but one of them was a touchdown. Curtis Samuel looked good in this game, which is good. You know, he was not good last year, so good to see him back out there. Maybe back to his uh, um, previous form, John Dawson with two touchdowns. So, yeah. Commanders beat the Jaguars. Actually, look, actually ended up being a good game. I kind of said that it w could be a good game. I thought that, you know, it's not teams aren't very good, but it could still be a good game since I feel like they're like, like both can, you know, in one game have a good game against each other. They did, but the commanders came up on top. Good uh, Wentz also, I will mention, you know, even with those two interceptions, had a good game, if I didn't already mention that. Packers and the Vikings moving to the late slate of games now. This game went how I thought it would. The Packers offense needs some time to adjust. I think it'll still be good this season. Rodgers will still be good this season. But we, week one, they, that's not time yet. Vikings defense looked really good. Pass rush looked really good. Darius Smith. Secondary looked really good. Uh, Justin Jefferson, look, look, Justin Jeff okay, the, their offense basically in, with Kevin O'Connell instead of um, whoever they had, whoever they had before, offensive coordinator, and, and maybe maybe have the same guy. Mike Zimmer was a defensive guy anyway. Regardless, looks a lot better, you know, being a passing offense. Uh, Thielen with a good game as well. Vikings dominated. Um, Vikings are in a prove it year. Um, you know, they have choked their expectations too many times um, for having a good roster. This time they have to prove it. Packers will probably destroy the Bears in week two, but. Um, yeah, this game went how went how I thought it was. When I thought went how I thought it would. The Giants and the Titans was hilarious. Um, the Titans choked the game in the second half. The Giants didn't do anything in the first half. Daniel Jones getting slandered. Brian Dable was yelling at him. He had a fumble. Everyone was going crazy, and then um, he played. And he he didn't really bring them back. Saquon Barkley did. What an amazing game. Great stuff. Um, Giants defense didn't get much pass rush. The, um, I'm sorry. The, yeah, they didn't. And then um, on the other side of the ball, Titans did get some good pass rush. You know, um, they get they got more pressure. But Giants were more of a running ball running team today. Titans Robert Woods only had one catch. Traylon Burks made some good plays. Cal Phillips, I told you, I told you guys by the way, great player. Will have a great season. Will have a great career. Well, maybe not like an amazing career, but he'll you know, have a serviceable career. Had a good game. Derrick Henry um, basically lost a running back running back matchup to Saquon, and that's one of the biggest biggest reasons they lost. Both teams are more running teams today. Giants ran the ball better. Now, I don't think the Giants will be a better team this year. I mean, they'll be better than they were last year, but I don't think they'll be like, uh, you know, the really improved team. However, 
I will buy the hype on Brian Dable as a head coach. I thought he was one of the best head coach um, candidates out there. Giants got him. Good job for you. I think that was a good um, ownership move, but um, still a lot to go on your team. I still don't see their team being really much of good this season. Raiders, uh, Chargers, my team lost this one. Um, close one. Chargers, I still, I still think are overrated. I don't care what anyone says. I think they're still overrated. Their elite um, offense had zero points in the final 20 or 25 game minutes of this game. Um, and then their defense, yeah, they look good. Against a better O-line, they would not look that good. Um, maybe if maybe like, later in the season, I think the Rays will um, be the Chargers. You know, if their car actually moves around the pocket and the Raiders uh, protect them and the Raiders run the ball more and start out faster, um, not, things you could do a lot better, but we don't. That's what they messed up. The Chargers played better. Um, Chargers shouldn't have let this game get this close. Um, so, you know, the Raiders did well in getting it close. But, you know, Chargers were the better team, I will say. You know, I'm not being unbiased here. The Chargers played better. The Raiders won, honestly. I don't know if they would have deserved it anyway. So, Chargers won. They won because their defense, by the way. I'm just, you know, mentioning. It was because their defense, not their offense. Um, good game with their defense. Kalu Mack is great. Um, finally, Samuel Jr. is still a good corner, but I don't think he's corner one worthy. You know, we saw that against Devontae Adams, even though he had some good plays. Um, Bryce Callahan, Bryce Callahan, I'll probably end up apologizing to you by the end of the season. Um, maybe I'll apologize to the Chargers. We'll see. I still think they're overrated, but good game. In this one, Chiefs Cardinals went exactly how I thought it would. Cardinals defense is so bad. No pass rush. If, I don't care if you was playing or not. Pass coverage is not good. I don't care if they have Buda Baker, or Jalen Thompson, Byron Murphy. Their defense is really bad. Their offense. It's okay, but it's not good enough to keep up in a shootout with the Kansas City Chiefs. When you have a college head coach, an inconsistent quarterback, a suspended DeAndre Hopkins, Marquise Brown is whatever. Rondon Moore was out. They have no running game. The offensive line is not that good. Cardinals are not like the Patriots, but I feel like they're in a similar range of they're not bad, but they have some concerns, you know, but I think they'll still be better than the Patriots this year. Buccaneers, Cowboys, I feel like almost, I, I feel pretty bad for the Cowboys. I mean, they played bad. They look bad. Their season looks like it's going downhill. Jan Jones, Dre Jones is a really bad owner. Dak Prescott got hurt. Their offense they look really like probably I didn't watch this game, but I would have been it would probably would have been painful to watch if I was a Cowboys fan watching that game. And their defense, Michael Parsons is still good. But and and the Bucks didn't even play like good on offense either, by the way. Brady low key is falling off, you know. And Leonard Fournette is not though. He's amazing. Evans has some good plays. Chris Godwin unfortunately got a new injury, not even the hamstring injury. Um um playing off playing i think limited snaps coming off with acl so hopefully it gets better soon broncos seahawks um i didn't watch a lot of this game the first half is actually pretty exciting seahawks had a lead second half there was only three points which was by the broncos the fanny hackett sold the game uh, with bad play with bad clock management they didn't call a timeout but then they didn't call a timeout then they didn't go for it they kicked the field goal instead they could they i mean they could have either just like called a timeout right away and then gone for the field goal which wouldn't matter if they missed it anyway um, or call timer right away, ran a play. Honestly, I will say this. I understand what he tried to do because if if he called a timeout and they didn't get it, the game was over. So I, don't, I honestly understand his logic of not calling a timeout right away and trying to go for an offense because then if you turn it over and don't get the first down, you still have three timeouts and get the ball back and score. How, but then what happened was he waited 20 seconds or 30 seconds and didn't, and then called the timeout and then that already ruined it and then he didn't end up going for it anyway. So I feel like if they at least ran off in the play they would have had a chance but they didn't they sold that's what happens when you have a new head coach and a quarterback who's in a new who's on a new team after a lot of time on a new other team so yeah um seahawks low i mean the team i don't think is that amazing but like they they look good i might have to buy into their hype a little bit broncos i don't think are overhyped however i still think they still i still think they're the worst team in the division week one um not an amazing like slate of games like the games weren't amazing but they were crazy endings wild endings which are the same thing and crazy upsets we will say next year week one i'm probably picking all the upsets i don't care um <laughs> crazy upsets ne by next week it should this shouldn't be like this um the upsets that is but i mean i'm so glad regular season football is back missed it greatness amazing sport great teams and everything players i, I i'm so i i'm i'm happy it's back basically that was my oh, nfl week one recap i'm arthur thank you for watching